You using the bathroom? Yeah, why? No, I was just curious. Before you go, I want to ask you a question. Is there something on my elbow? <laughs> first me, first me, first me! <laughs> Reservations with the maitre d. Isn't that right, Cornelius? Lois Griffin, poop for one. I also need a poop. Yeah, the hell with you, I'll use the other bathroom. Uh, he's an exchange student, don't you remember? Oh, that's right. Don't you feel foolish? Well, how long does it usually take you? I don't remember. <laughs> Joe, I need to use your bathroom. Uh, wait, wait, how do I? Uh, yeah, that's gonna be way too complicated for you. Cleveland's old house, perfect! Damn, no toilet paper. Peter, where have you been? Oh, let's just say I've been at Cleveland's empty house taking a dump. Ah, that's disgusting. I can't believe we've come apart. Peter, you can't keep using Cleveland's bathroom. Oh my god, yes I can. Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery. Hey, 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 no, 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 what are you doing? That's my bathroom. What are you talking about? We just rented this place. Listen, I gotta tell you guys, I've watched all your movies like a thousand times. You saw Cops and Robertsons? And my stepmother is an alien? Almost all of them. I can't believe I'm gonna have dinner with two of the three amigos. This is gonna be way better than when we had that Victorian girl ghost over for dinner. Can you believe it? We're eating with two of the three Ghostbusters. Actually, I wasn't in that. Look at these guys. They can't take a compliment. We've got all kinds of roles available. Speaking roles, background roles. Background would be good for you. Oh, yeah. Speaking role or background role. Either one would be good. But, uh... <laughs> Ooh, is that the time? I can't believe that's the time. It's late. See, if you had said something like, oh, it's half past a freckle. Aha! Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Where's this guy been? You're not funny at all. I don't get it. You're painfully unfunny. Get the f out of my house! Do you think it's a little odd that Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd have moved into Quahog together? I mean, why here? Why now? I don't know. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Won't you gentlemen have a Pepsi? Ah! 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 What the... What the hell is this place? Welcome to Dump. Wait a minute, I, I don't understand. What do you mean you guys work for the government? Well, Brian, it turns out Spies Like Us was Ronald Reagan's favorite movie. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union brainwashed dozens of American civilians, effectively making them sleeper agents who could be activated at any time to do the work of the KGB. What is it? The phrase is, gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. Well, there's a pedophile up the street that nobody seems to be doing anything about, but it's mainly because he's so funny. Well, look, we'd be happy to help in any way we can. And those two bums turned to me and said, you're not funny, Peter, in my own house. And you know what I appreciate about your joke, Peter? It's clean. It's clean funny. I just wish there was some way I could show them how wrong they are. We'll start our own improv group and put on a show. All right. Now, you say this spy is located somewhere in Quahog? That's right. We need you to set up some roadblocks to help us contain them. Gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. Oni uznali pramenya. Okay, so we gotta come up with a name for our improv group. Anybody got anything? Um... How about the Joke Ridge Boys? Deliveries in rear. Oh, yes! No, no, I was in three improv groups in college, Peter. I was in Improvidence, I was in the Wackadamia Nuts, and I know I'm dating myself here, but Three Smile Island. Wow, those are the Russian people? I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but... Hey! They're not bears on unicycles! You are under arrest! Here are the American spies we captured, Mr. Prime Minister. <gasps> well, he was putting us on, huh? <laughs> right? The truth is... The reactivation of a Cold War sleeper spy would be an embarrassment to my government. So, the long and the veiny of it is you're going to help us out, right? I will provide you with transportation, passports, food, supplies. Where the hell is Quagmire? I don't know. He said improv rehearsal at 7, right? Yeah, where is Quagmire? I haven't seen him all day. Tap me, Quagmire. Tap me. Quagmire went to the bank to donate sperm because it's a sperm bank. Yes, there you go. He's moving it forward. He's it's me, John Wayne. Oh, no. All right. Okay, you know what? You're not loosened up yet. <laughs> Whoa! Come on, you guys. Do it with me. Go bananas! Yeah! <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? All right, let's try something else. The dog and my mom 
And? You're not adding information. Well, one of you guys says Thanksgiving. I got a good idea where to go with it. If these signatures are correct, Mare West is located one-third of a kilometer that way. Just over this rise. Yeah, that's what you told us a third of a kilometer ago, you douche. <gasps> what the hell? Where am I? I didn't just bite into a York peppermint patty, did I? Mayor West, you're in Russia. So without further ado, I need a place. Your ass. <laughs> okay, come on now, something serious. Your mom's ass. Okay, I heard pharmacy. Who's in the pharmacy? John Wayne. What the? Peter, you're not supposed to be in the audience. Get the hell up on stage. Where's my penis, pilgrims? <laughs> Guys, I got a split. I took a wet duke. Guidance. Source programmable guidance. We can reprogram and disarm the missile from here. From here? Deprogram the hardwired safety overrides and reconfigure the motherboard so that the missile's primary central processing unit tells itself to eject its own warhead. <laughs> Let's just hope the fuselage doesn't fall where it can cause too much damage. Boy, who would have thought all this trouble could be caused by simply uttering the phrase, gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. But I don't like little Kyle Kaepernick kneeling during the national anthem. What are those for? Power songs that get me focused. On the bus go. Today you are a man. Great. Can I drive? No. Can I vote? No. Can I drink? No. Can Lois, why do we got to come here? This place is a bunch of rich snobs. We have lunch with my parents twice a year. Damn it, Griffin. You've been staring at that menu for five minutes and you peed your pants. Um, do I sense a hint of jealousy? Stewie, didn't it strike you as odd that everyone got a medal? You didn't win anything. <gasps> Stewie, I, I'm sorry. I... I... <gasps> You won't make a fool of me any longer! You know what? He's earned that. Our whole house is destroyed. Well, here comes the insurance guy. Everyone start crying about losing your new golf clubs. Peter, I spoke with my parents, and we can live with them until our house is fixed. Right. It's gonna suck worse than Muselix. Please, take me home! Uh, okay, but just you. I don't feel safe now. We gotta stay with your parents. You know, sometimes I get the feeling they don't respect me. Wow, check out this media room. Maybe you burning down the house wasn't so bad. My actions were justified. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. I've deleted all my old tweets, so don't even bother looking for bad stuff. Screen grabs can be faked. I just have to apply myself. Like Chris when he worked at that casino. No more bets, the money that could have gone to your kids is gone. What the? This is mud. Yes, it's a mud pie. I use Legos for the fruit. Best pie ever. Wow, tastes great, Stewie. They're all just lying to protect my feelings. This pie is garbage, and the contest is next week. How is Denise? Did she have the abortion? Abortion? Go with it. Uh, no, her alarm didn't go off, so she missed it. Lois, why do you always start talking like a snob when you're around your parents? What? It's the way I was brought up. Finally, a place to escape. Bring that up again, and we'll vote on it. Whoa. Where'd you learn a line like that? I just had to act that way to impress Carter, who cared about that stuff. I was struggling to be something I wasn't. You know, Peter, you and I are not so different. You struggle to get erections, too? Drunk and clam? Why, well, I haven't been there in decades. I'd love to. To the Babsmobile! You know, I've never dropped bowling balls from an overpass before. They fall quick. That was the most fun I've had in decades. Sometimes I feel trapped in this world. For Ever trying to live up to everyone else's expectations. Well, Brian, I've studied pie making, and the key is to find the absolute freshest ingredients. Where are we? 1666, England. Home of Sir Isaac Newton. Ah! Gravity never happened! Dina, what did the two of you talk about last night? Who? Yeah, who? You can see why I stole this from the owlery. 
Now that one seemed less earned. Babs, you gotta come home. Carter needs you. I'm sorry, but I, I can't do that right now. Sometimes I feel suffocated by Lois and my stupid mother-in-law, but you gotta come home. Peter, where have you been? Listen, Carter, unless you wanna lose Babs forever, you better get down to Weaker Park. You gotta do this for Mom. <coughs> all right, all right, let's go. This year's Quahog Pie Baking Champion is... Fjörg Vanderplug. <laughs> do I get a medal? You get a ribbon. Does everyone who participates get a ribbon? Only 10 out of 14. Maybe someday you can come by my store and have all the cack you want. Ooh, that sounds promising. Uh I think I went too big with the boots. And while we're at it, give me that pool cue. I got an idea where we can put it. Peter, shut up! Carter? Just a few easy warm-up questions. Have you ever had condomless sex with a man? Okay, test over. Carter's never been here in his life. <laughs> Babs! Being back home here has made me realize you already are. What? Had a Milwaukee's best. It's an awful, awful, awful. It's one of our sponsors. Delicious. Ah, old love. Damn it, Griffin! You've been staring at that menu for 22 minutes, and now you're sitting in a double pee puddle. Only one thing left to do: get drunk, go upstairs, and weird out the kids. Chris, wake up! I, I want to give my son a Tom Brady kiss. Welcome, everyone. My name is Von Giner, and I'm Vice President of Creative Bankruptcy for the Fox TV Network. You have been selected to be part of a focus group that could affect one of America's most beloved television shows, Family Guy. And since Fox is now owned by Disney, which will someday be owned by Netflix, which will someday be owned by Pornhub, First Reboot is built around the very popular Louise. It's Lois. Whatever. The mom. Lois! Going to work, huh? Yes, Joe, I'm going to work. Great! You know, I just want to say again that you were totally right last night to bring up that thing I did wrong 11 years ago. Hey, girl. Oh, hello, gay couple who's constantly jogging. What are you up to this morning? Well, I'm off to my high-powered job at a fashion magazine, greeting card company, or winery. I can't wait to see which. God, I admire you. That's what you're here for, Judy Greer. <gasps> oh, I almost forgot. Bert wants to see you in his office. Oh, my God, Peter, there's a spider in here. Yeah, I know, genius. Sorry I only satisfied you twice tonight. I found a pouch of Big League Chew earlier and my jaw is worn out. Would you like me to put on our sleep ocean noises with an occasional shocking seagull screech? Yes, thanks. President of Wine and Paint Night Incorporated, Lois Griffin just landed my account through her wit, charm, and professionalism. What can I say? I love my wife. It's my show. Why shouldn't this be me? Your spontaneous comments will affect the jobs of hundreds of people. Come on, you idiots. Don't screw me. I'm sorry. I was scrolling through the weather in random cities. Great. You're taking this very seriously. Hey, what's going on in that room? It's a focus group of Arby's executives watching us eat. Come on, Don't buddy. Don't do Here it. Here she comes. All right, kid. Take your time. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Ruth, good gender fluid shower? Great gender fluid shower. Eddie, what's wrong? Why aren't you in bitch class? It's your sister, Meg. She's dead. Hey, who left their gender fluid in the shower? So what can I get for you sexy teens? Um, how's the vegetarian lasagna? Terrible. He I can't even with this. I'm gonna go get some air and pebble up my nipples. <gasps> Patty? I'll be right there. I just have to drink a product placement beverage first. I hope nothing happened to the most disposable member of our cast. Guys, look! Guys, it's time to fire up our superpowers because we're also lesser known Marvel characters. Now's when you find out I'm the sheriff. Now what happens? Now one of us will become a breakout movie star and leave the series wrecking it for the rest of us. And if you're impressed by the size of Alexander Skarsgård's penis, that doesn't make you gay, right? 
Answer him! Oh, hey there, Stewie. Or should I say, g'day, mate, since you're in Queensland, Australia, where you moved with Brian and Megan <laughs> masturbating, yes. Between you and me, I think Trisha might be barren. <laughs> Can either continue wearing shoes in the house or continue having sex with this age-defying Eastern physique? <laughs> Yes? If I give you back my diet Sprite, can I leave? How did you feel about the show? I didn't like it. Everybody shut up! Hey, it's that sheriff from the queue! You people don't like anything! I like Netflix. Could you be Netflix? Yeah, Netflix is awesome. Of course it's awesome, it's Netflix! Look, we're stuck being Fox. We young Sheldon is good. How about young family guy? How about I murder your whole family? What about Bojack Horseman? Hard no. I like that Antiques Road show. Fine! The poop is only two weeks old. What? How can you be sure? Well, for starters, there's a Skittle in it. Hi, you having a good night? I did. Just had a devil's three-way. You know, me and two guys. I thought I read you guys were phasing out gay jokes. That quote was taken out of context and widely misunderstood. Guys, just so sorry that any of this is happening. I, I mean, even once every four years seems like just way too much. Can you change them up? To who? I like John Benjamin voices. Can you all be John Benjamin voices? Hey, Joe. Hey, Peter. Hey, guys, the Coffee Beans Wi-Fi doesn't need a password. Everyone, the reboot is off. So what does that mean? It means Family Guy is just fine as it is. <laughs>